Hi, and welcome to this introduction video for OWASP Top 10 series. So before you jump in and watch my 10 videos about the OWASP Top 10, I want to give you a introduction to the website OWASP.org. So I just browse to the website. I know this is small, but to the website OWASP.org. If we look at the website in itself, the front page, you can read about different projects and what is OWASP all about, and you can donate and so on. You can also join the project and be a conti contributor. All right, so if you go to the tab here called Projects, first of all, you can browse all the projects, but the thing we're interested in, in this is this called OWASP Top 10 series right here. I know the website offers a lot of different projects and you might think, oh, dependency track, Q-Shop, mobile security testing guide, yes. These are also really good links for you to click on, but in this series I'm going to focus only on OS Top 10. So let's click the link and see what we get. What we get is a website which is now created as an Im implemented part on the actual website on OS.org. In the past, you should download a PDF file or browse a less uh, overviewable um, a word that I just created, meaning that this is a lot easier to understand and get an overview of. Because what you see is the most recent version of the OS Top 10. Now you think 2017, that is a bit old when you talk about IT. Well, yeah, but the might come a new version soon. You can also look at the project information on the right saying current version is 2017. If you browse further on the website you can fi find the other versions where you can uh, compare the different top tens, what changed over the years. I'm primarily going to focus on talking about the 10 web application security risks such as injection, broken authentication and so on. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see a selection of the corporate supporters and you can click on every link of each of these application security risks. If you, for example, click on the first one here called injection, you will get this page. And every risk is going to create this kind of page for you with a threat agent, attack vectors, security weakness and impacts. You can read a little about the attack vectors and the threat agents and so on here. And a short text telling you about is the application vulnerable. Now, this is not a checklist. It is just to, to get you started with it. How to prevent is like um, also just a small text explaining you the general idea about injection. Example attacks, um, they're very good for you because you can always get a really fast idea about what is injection. In this example, they primarily focus on SQL injection. On the right side, we have, have something called references and we have references to the OASP side with different kind of cheat sheets, it's creating injection prevention, injection prevention, and other kind of things. Everything you should need. I had the questions a lot. What about the optional relational mapping? Yes, we have there, the ORM injection. You click that, an object, not optional, but object relational mapping. You can read about how to test and verify that it doesn't have any injection here. So. If you go back and just click another one, just let's say A7, cross our scripting, you will get the same page again, where you can read about the threat agents, security weakness, and the impacts. I really suggest that you read these kind of pages and click the links here down below, because that is the actual references for the actual work you're gonna do when you're gonna secure your applications, or your web apps, or your application, or whatever. Uh, against the top 10 vulnerabilities there is. Now, I want to make this really plain. This is a top 10 list. Of course, there is a top 
20, 12, 30. There are not, and I'm, and I'm gonna state this really clearly, there is not 10 application security risk for you to know about, and then you are secure. No, 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 this is just the top 10. So if you have a mountain, you have the top 10 here, then everything below is also a part of it. This is just the top 10. So I hear many developers saying, well, Daniel, if this is the top 10, why don't they create a, a full list just saying all application security risks? Well, I wanna say this. This is just top 10 list for you to focus on the top 10 most application security risk that is going to be present in most applications. So the way they create the top 10 list is by interviewing companies, talking together in big rooms, uh, at, at different boards, discussing what is the trend right now. So that doesn't mean that the A1 injection is the most serious one. It just means that the injection flaws, which is the number one, is probably one of those that is really present and it is really bad to have injection your website. I hope you understand what I mean with this. And when I try to explain it, I'm drawing it a bit here and there, back and forth from the coast, if you understand that philosophical phrasing. The top 10 is just the top 10. If you want to go even further, you can go to CVE top 25, for example, which is just another website. And the video series is not about this common weakness in enumeration, but I'm just going to tell you that there are many, many, many different sites that have their own top something, top 25. This is another very serious website, and I really suggest you look at it. But at the moment, I'm only focusing on OS. But I just wanted to tell you that there are many different top whatever um, lists. So the next video you will see is, is, gonna, is going to be about injection. And I hope that you will like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and even like them. Please also leave a comment. I will reply as fast as I can. Okay, so I hope you liked this video, and I'm going to see you again online. Bye. Thank you.